actress, singer and dancer Anne Margaret, was born in Valstjoben, Sweden on April 28, 1941. She and her mother moved to Chicago, Illinois in 1946 to join her father who had been working in the U.S. since 1942. Anne Margaret began taking dance lessons as a child and appeared on talent shows and in plays when she was a teenager. Her interest in riding motorcycles began at age 10 and has never faded. Although Anne Margaret started at Northwestern University in 1959, she was sidetracked from university when a musical group she was in toured to Los Angeles and Las Vegas. While in Las Vegas, she auditioned successfully for comedian George Burns' holiday show. Her recording career began in 1961, with a five-year contract for RCA Victor. RCA positioned her as the female Elvis, and Anne Margaret was accompanied by Elvis Presley's backup singers The Jordanaires on her first record Lost Love, 1961. She also sang a version of Heartbreak Hotel and Presley-like songs. She appeared on the Jack Benny program in 1961 and sang the theme from Bachelor in Paradise at the 1962 Academy Awards. Anne Margaret's singing career was overshadowed by her success in the movies, thanks to her baby boomer fans. She was signed to a seven-year contract with 20th Century Fox in 1961 and made her movie debut in A Pocketful of Miracles with Betty Davis. Roles in movie musicals like State Fair, 1962, opposite Bobby Darin and Pat Boone, and Bye Bye Birdie, 1963, with Dick Van Dyke, follow. Below, a clip from 1962's State Fair features Pat Boone and Anne Margaret. After a brief engagement to Hollywood businessman Bert Sugarman, February to March 1962, Anne Margaret was most frequently seen with actor Eddie Fisher for the next year. She was featured on the cover of Life magazine in January 1963. In July 1963 22-year-old Anne Margaret began recording songs with 28-year-old Elvis Presley for the movie Viva Las Vegas, 1964. The chemistry on screen between Anne Margaret and Elvis Presley became a real-life romance as well, although an affair was never confirmed by either of them because Elvis was already secretly engaged to 18-year-old Priscilla Bolian. In her autobiography Anne Margaret. My Story, 1994. Written with Todd Gold, Anne Margaret called Presley her soulmate and said he bought her a round pink bed for her Beverly Hills apartment, in a moment of tenderness. Elvis Presley ended the romance with Anne Margaret in 1964 after the British press interviewed her and then reported they were talking about marriage. They remained lifelong friends until Presley's death in 1977, and Elvis came to all of Anne Margaret's Las Vegas openings. Anne Margaret continued to act in movies, earning herself sex symbol status in movies like Kitten with a Whip, 1964, co-starring John Forsythe, The Pleasure Seekers, 1964, with Tony Franciosa, and The Cincinnati Kid, 1965, opposite Steve McQueen.